Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for being here today. Woo, guys, I know it's been such a long time since I've done a video for y'all. I am so sorry about that. Let me just tell you that life has been, it's been tough, okay? Life's been hectic these last few months. Um, and honestly, I just never had the time to just sit down and film because I was dealing with so much problems and, you know, just life. Life is difficult. What can we say about that? But on today's video, I wanted to update you guys on what has been happening on my life. If you care. If you don't care, just, just get out of this video, okay? But I know a lot of y'all um, follow me, really care about me, and I don't know if you guys want an update on my life. But I feel like I need to talk about it because it's just been really crazy. Um, so yeah, guys, if you are curious on what has been happening on my life lately, then just stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me start off by saying that I am not home right now. I'm actually in an Airbnb right now, so if you love the background, it is because it is an Airbnb. <laughs> me? <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just going to talk to you guys and just let you guys in on what has been going on recently on my crazy life. So currently, we are in December 1st. What? December. I love December. I love the holidays. I just love the feels of December. Right now in Miami, it's been the coldest, the freaking coldest that it has ever been since I've been here. We're at 60 degrees. I know it's not that cold, okay? But it is the coldest since I've been here. So I'm enjoying this little chilly weather. Um, I put a long sleeve on. Um, and yeah, right now I'm sitting on a chair, guys. Excuse me, because there's a wind in front of me and the lighting is just amazing, okay? If I go somewhere else around the house, it won't be this pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm just sitting down here, chilling. So let me update you guys. So I, my birthday was in August. Um, August 13, I turned 21. Woohoo! Um, and you know, on that, we were really good, everything was perfect. Um, if you guys do know, I do live with my boyfriend. We um, shared an apartment together and our lease was over in November 29, so just like three days ago. But let me just get you guys in. So the reason I've said that life has been hectic, because it has, okay? Um, you know, everybody's life is difficult. I'm not saying that mine is more important or my problems are more important, but I just need to update you guys on what has been happening. So on October 6th, uh, my boyfriend and I got into a car accident. Um, I was driving and we got um, tailbone, toadbone, tailbone, T-bone, T-bone, that's how you say it, T-bone. We got T-boned, it was um, like around approximately two in the morning. We were sober guys, we were not drinking, we were coming back from a friend's house. And yeah, this car just hit on my side. He was going really, really fast. We spinned, it was really, really bad. But thankfully we were okay. Um, but we got into that car crash and that was the beginning of it all. And after that car crash, you know, obviously we had to deal with the car, with the insurances. And um, since we got hit on a very, very blunt force, obviously our bodies got hurt. So we had to deal with medicals. Um, we had to go with the chiropractors and all that. It was, it was really tough, guys. You know, until this day now, I still feel a lot of pain on my body. Um, you know what they say, those car crashes, they really like mess you up. Like they really, really do. Um, but like I said, thankfully I'm okay, I'm alive. But after that car crash, um, you know, it was just a lot to deal with at the moment. It was, the timing was horrible, guys. The timing was just really, really bad. I'm currently working on a project of mine and I've been working on it since May. Um, and honestly, I was ready to launch that product, that product. I was ready to launch that project by October or November. But since the whole car crash happened, you know, it put a pause on my project and it was very, very difficult. But I obviously had to deal with the car and the medicals and all that. And, you know, a lot of money wasted. A lot of, a lot, a lot of money wasted. And that money was obviously going to my project. I was going to invest that money on my project um, and I couldn't. 
So that's that. That was the beginning of it all. After that car crash happened, um, it was just like two to three weeks just dealing with it. And, you know, it was just really annoying, guys. Really, really annoying. Towards the end of October, my boyfriend started feeling really, really ill. Not, um, not like as in like flu or anything like that. He was having a lot of pain on his body and you know areas that were not common to have pain in and we just couldn't go to a medical here because you know if you do live in america you know medical expenses are insane here and they just always want to like take more money from you and you know it's just really really expensive if you don't have insurance so my boyfriend is from puerto rico so we decided to take a little um trip over there so he can go visit some doctors and get checked and you know just to get out of that because um we just couldn't god damn it sleep sorry guys the air turned on and i'm literally right in front of the air so i think you guys could hear the air just pretty annoying when you're recording So yeah, we were in Puerto Rico for around two weeks, um, just visiting numerous of doctors, getting different results, and just trying to see what the problem was, you know? So that obviously was a little pause in my project as well. Um, after that, when we came back from Puerto Rico, it was the beginning of November, so we knew that our lease was over in like three, three weeks, you know? We, when we came back, actually, um, his car was like, not turning on something was wrong with his car so we had to deal with that too so we were carless for some couple of days <laughs> um but thankfully we resolved that problem so on november we you know we were just trying to figure out what we were gonna do in terms of if we were gonna stay in miami or what we were gonna do i we were talking we wanted to move to like orlando or to another city in florida but the timing was just really bad. Um, we just we just didn't want to get into another lease without knowing what we were gonna do first. You know, um, if you do live in Florida, you know rent here is expensive, guys, expensive. And you know we just we just didn't want to get into another lease and pay a lot of money. You know when we weren't sure of what we wanted to do. So. Obviously, we were apartment hunting, we were looking at places, and, um, you know, we were trying to just get another lease just in case. But we just agreed that we should just put a pause in our life and kind of clear our heads, you know? Because since I am working on this project of mine that I am so excited for you guys to see what I'm working on, I've put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of love in this project, and I just want to launch it already. But with all these problems going on and our lease and getting another, like, you know, um, apartment and spending money on security deposit, on first month deposit, all that, you know, it was just a lot of money to drop. And I need that money to invest right now in my project. So we decided to just take a little break. You know, we, we just decided that we didn't want to get into another lease. We didn't want to pay another year's worth of money because we just didn't want to drop that kind of money guys we were paying around two thousand dollars a month for our apartment um you know and it was just totally unnecessary with the whole covid thing you know we just we just didn't know what we wanted to do to be honest so we sat down and we talked about it so we are going to puerto rico we are going to go live over there for like around four to six months while, you know, everything just gets a little bit back to normal. We get back on our feet. We kind of clear our minds. And by our next step, we can know what we're going to do, you know, because we don't want to rush right now and get into another place without knowing, like I said, what we were going to do. So, yeah, guys, that is going on right now. I am going to go to Puerto Rico for like i said four to six months and i'm gonna be working on my project which i am so excited because guys this, this project it's everything that i ever wanted it's 
one of my dreams, one of my goals to do this. And I am very, very excited that um, God is giving us this opportunity to be able to just get back on our feet and just keep it rolling, you know? I don't wanna um, get into like depression or anything like that, you know? Our mental health is more important than anything. So we know that this was gonna be really, really good for us. And in Puerto Rico, we were not gonna pay any rent or anything because um, his parents have like an apartment over there. So we were gonna stay over there or a house that they also have, you know? So we just know that this was gonna help us a lot in terms of financial because guys, this whole COVID thing just messed everything up. Okay, and I know I'm not the only one. I know everybody has been going through it. So, you know, you guys can pretty understand me why I'm doing this. And I am so excited, guys. I love Puerto Rico. I love Puerto Rico. Um, if you do follow me on social media, you guys know that I'm always visiting over there because my, fam my family, my boyfriend's family is from over there. And flights from Miami to Puerto Rico are so cheap. So we, will, we love to go over there. So, yeah, guys, that's what has been going on. You guys might not see it as crazy because I'm saying, oh my God, life has been so hectic. But there's obviously so many things going on that I don't talk about. But this is what I'm talking about because I want you guys to kind of know where I'm coming from a little bit. But there's obviously so much more problems going on that we had to leave and kind of reevaluate everything again and just clear our heads. You know, we really need this little break. I really need this break. And I know my boyfriend needs this break a lot too. So yeah, guys, right now, currently, we are in an Airbnb because our lease was over on the 29th, like I said. Um, and before going to Puerto Rico, going to an airport, we obviously wanted to get tested for COVID just in case we don't put other people's health at risk. So we got three tests done, guys. Um, we got a test done at a convention center here in Miami. We got one in Walgreens and we got also one in CVS. If you guys didn't know, Walgreens and CVS do provide free testing, guys. So as we were waiting for our results, they obviously take around three to four days, the most six days. Um, so we just didn't want to go to an airport and while we were waiting for our results, you know. Thankfully, we are negative. Thankfully. Um, but we had already gotten the freaking Airbnb, so there's pretty much nothing we can do at this point. Um, so yeah, we are here. We packed all of our stuff, guys. All of our stuff is at storages. We just brought what we knew what we were gonna use in Puerto Rico and all that. So yeah, guys, I'm actually very, very excited. Um, you guys don't know how excited I am. I'm very nervous though. And it's it's totally normal to be nervous. Um, like they say, if you're not scared or nervous, then you're not moving to something better in your life. So I know this is gonna help me a lot. And yeah, guys, I'm so excited. Whoop, whoop. Um, but yeah, guys, so we are currently in an Airbnb, guys. It is so freaking cute. This Airbnb is so adorable. Do you guys want a little tour? I'll give you guys a little tour, okay? Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna give you a tour, but please excuse the mess, okay? You know how it is. So if you see a little bit of mess, shh, okay? So this is the first thing that you see when you walk in the living room. I'm obsessed with these paintings, guys. This These paintings are like adorable. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I love like the little interior design that they did. I love the paintings, I love the color scheme. I love everything about it. It's really, really cute. Um, so yeah, this is what you see when you first walk in. My mess, my mess, my mess, my mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the living room right here. Really, really cute. Love is the answer, obviously. Dining room, adorable. You have these little blue accent chairs over here. Table, plant, painting, and this is the kitchen, guys. I love how spacious this place is. Like, this place is super, super spacious. Um, so this is our kitchen. So freaking cute. We obviously already made ourselves home. Um, we bought it. We brought a little bit of our groceries that we had from our apartment um, But they obviously provide some of the utensils and all that mumbo jumbo So freaking cute. So this is the room I am NOT gonna go into the room because my boyfriend's playing 
video games and it is a total mess right there. So I'm not gonna show you guys the room. So this is this, this is a mirror. Um, this is just like a freaking closet, just for like extra space, it's whatever. Um, this is a restroom, it's just small and cute guys. It's nothing special to be honest, it's just a freaking restroom. Um, I do like the mirror though. <laughs> the shower, adorable, so, so cute. I'm in love with the toilet. I love the toilet. It's like those toilets. Yeah, super cute. This is just like a little, um, also like a little space. So I already have all my shit there, obviously. Um, and yeah, guys, so that's a little space. It's small, it's cute, it works. So yeah, guys, that is our little Airbnb. It's cute, it's small. Um, you know, it just worked. We're just gonna stay here for five days um, and we're leaving on Friday to Puerto Rico. <laughs> um, so this is our second day today. Um, we are staying in Fort Lauderdale, which is like maybe an hour away from Miami because that's where we fly from, Fort Lauderdale Airport. So we just wanted to get the closest there. Um, so yeah, today we are probably going to do some, some things. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if we should just go to the mall or what, but we just wanna get out of here because I just don't wanna be just stuck in here in this thing. You know, we have been in quarantine for so long in our apartment, we don't go out anything, but it's home, you know, it's different. This is like an Airbnb, so it feels kinda like vacation-y, you know, it's like a little vacation. So I just wanna go out and explore. So I did my makeup, guys. I had such a long time not doing my makeup, such a freaking long time. Um, it's just been going through it, okay? I was so stressed this week. Uh, my allergies were up the roof. My allergies were crazy because of the whole moving out and the dust and all that, and I was stressed. And I was just going through it, but you know, we're here, we're good, now I'm happy. <laughs> um, and yeah, guys, so I'll get back to you guys um, right now in a little while to see what we're gonna do, okay? So just stay tuned. Mwah. So guys, I strained my hair today which I never do. And I feel like a fucking baka just came and fucking licked me off. It's just so like lambido. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know. I don't like straightening my hair. It just makes my face look more round. gonna go to the mall I believe we're going to the Galleria mall I just um, put a jacket on which this is my boyfriend's jean jacket um, because it is actually really really cold um, so yeah guys I'll tune in when we're at the mall and I think we're also gonna go eat so yeah bye girls don't you just hate it when you do your makeup and you gotta wear this stupid shit. Look at how ugly it is, full of makeup. Don't you just hate it? Like, this is why I don't even do my makeup anymore because it's like pointless. Um, we just got here to the mall. So we are going to park and yeah, we'll see y'all right now. Guys, so this mall is so empty. Like super. Guys, okay, so we just got off the mall. Um, we really didn't do much. My boyfriend just bought some shirts. And that is it. We are on our way now to go eat. But first, we just got to look for a restaurant. Ugh, I fucking hate looking for a damn restaurant because it's just not easy. There's just so many and it's just it's just hard. We always take like 30 minutes to freaking find a restaurant. But I'll catch you guys right now when we get there. So you can guys see the place where we're going to eat um, and my comida. <laughs> So we just 
just got to the restaurant, guys. It is so packed. Like, super, super packed. So, this is what I'm gonna eat tonight. I got two of carne asada, one shrimp, and one crispy fish. Yes. Alrighty guys, so we just got off from the restaurant. It was really, really good actually. It was like a, a Mexican restaurant thing. Um, my honest review, it's like a, hmm, like a seven out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not like, whoa, like real Mexican food. Um, and I would know how real Mexican food tastes because as a fellow Mexican, <laughs> um, so yeah guys we're just getting off and yeah it was really good it was really packed honestly really really packed so I think a lot of people like that restaurant the ambience is good the, um, the ambience the ambience the ambience is good oh god I'm so dark So we are going to buy some liquor. So we just got this bottle. Um, the lady at the liquor store, she was recommending us this bottle, but she was like an older lady, you know, and older people, they drink like there's no tomorrow. Um, so we kind of went by what she told us because we wanted to try something new and we're a little bit scared on trying this. Let me know if you guys have tried this bottle, Flor de Caña, it's a rum. I don't know guys we're really scared because i'm not a rum girl i'm like a tequila girl vodka girl not a rum girl not a whiskey girl so my boyfriend's trying it right now pero no le pusiste mucho de esto y poquita like o más coca y esto tastes like shit Ugh. and we're drinking it with coca-cola and if you guys know me personally you guys know i don't drink coke for shit all I drink is water, so. <laughs> uh, it's regular. It tastes just like como Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. Ugh, and I don't like Jack Daniels. God, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. What's your plans? Why the don't know guys but we just want to drink because we we never drink my boyfriend and i just never drink um but since we're feeling like in a vacation mode we just want to drink <laughs> at the liquor store the lady gave me two shots of this vodka um i didn't know liquor stores can do that that they give you shots to try i've never like had that i mean it's not bad it's just i'm not used to this taste and just to let you guys know, these lashes are Bella Vida Lashes. My favorite lashes. They're so nice, so comfortable, and super weightless. 
<laughs> went back to the liquor store to go ahead and get another bottle because the other one was just too strong for me. Like I just, first of all, I don't drink Coke, so couldn't drink it. We got this one right here. This one's really, really good. Um, when I was there, the lady gave me a shot of this. I liked it, so I went ahead and picked up this one with cranberry juice, sugar-free. <laughs> um, we also went ahead and got an orange juice just in case if it didn't taste good with the cranberry juice. But yeah, I'm gonna make myself a cup. A cup! To see how it tastes with the cranberry. I wanna taste it with cranberry. My boyfriend's putting orange juice and cranberry together. Cheers! Sorry guys, I know you guys are probably cringing at me for drinking like this, but it's because I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. Mm. You see, that's just like, like pink lemonade. Alrighty guys, so I am going to end the video right now because I'm already too lit and I know I'm gonna forget to do the outro. So I'm just gonna do the outro right now when I can. Um, thank you so much for tuning in guys. I know this video is not super super interesting or whatever, but I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on and take a little I don't know like a day in my life type of thing. I don't know, but anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Oh look at my patita. Sorry if you're not a feet person, I'm sorry. <laughs> um yeah guys, so thank you so much for being here today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, which probably you didn't, I don't know. Um, but if you did, give a thumbs up, a big thumbs up, and don't forget to comment. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. Or if you have not been subscribed, please subscribe. Okay? Alrighty, guys. So, I'll turn in on to the next one. Probably my next video will be me in Puerto Rico. So, yeah, guys. I love you so much. Bye.